this is the basic screen that the operator would see in the minimize mode. What this means is that the screen has been decluttered to the point that he basically will see only alarms that are significant. For example, the operator will see a path alarm. And the path alarm is shown here. It shows a path violation. And the path is the for the flow from the northwest into California. The operator can click on any of the small icons to bring up current display and show the behavior of the system in real time. He simply double clicks to go back. Now let's we'll turn on the uh, we'll turn on all the layers and this will show us the current status of the frequency, voltage, and phase angle of each of the 36 buses in the uh, WEC. We'll see now that we have a dot that represents frequency, voltage, and phase angle. Uh, the event will start again from the beginning and we'll play it in real time. And what you'll observe is that all of the frequencies in the WEC have gone to red. This means that they're uh, far below the nominal of 60 hertz. The voltages are all shown in green throughout the WEC. However, the angles now are shown in uh, different colors. The colors here showing that the, the angle is very low in California and throughout Canada. So we'll now take a look at the voltages throughout the grid and we'll jump to the voltage page and play this again in uh, real time speed. So we'll see we have a significant oscillation occurring in the grid and we can investigate where, w w where the voltages are and we'll see that the, uh, the low voltage circuits are in Seattle area. Um, most of the other circuits are 550 kilovolts in the system. The operator can go, jump back to the main page by double clicking on this button. The next thing we'll look at is the frequency and we'll play the frequency in real time and we'll see there's a sudden drop in frequency which means that there's a sudden loss of load, a uh, sudden loss of generation and the frequency is sagging and it's returning to its steady state value of around 59.8. The operator can then investigate which frequencies could cause the issue. We'll jump back and we'll look at the angle deviation. So this this plot shows the behavior of the absolute angles and we'll see that they all start within plus or minus 180 degrees and then when the frequency sag occurs the angles then start to uh, sag. Notice that the angles are below 2000 degrees from their starting point. We'll go back to the main page and we'll investigate the modes of the system and it turns out that the system is quite stable in terms with respect to oscillations. So there's very little oscillations occur on this screen. We'll go back now and take a look at the states of the system and the states of the system are shown on these charts. There are nine state charts showing. Uh, these each contain uh, angle uh, at the bus the frequency and the voltage at the bus. For the system to be in a good state, the little yellow dots must be inside the green box. And you'll see this is not the case. We have the voltages are outside and the angles are far outside the box. And this is through throughout the entire WEC. We'll go back to the main page and we'll take a look at this time errors. Time errors are computed automatically from the uh, absolute phase angles and we'll see that the time error is accumulating across all of WEC. Jump back. We'll take a quick look at uh, see if there are any oscillations in the system and from the previous chart we could see that the oscillation intensity was extremely low. And on this chart we show uh, the oscillations in, uh, in terms of the intensity versus the frequency of the oscillation. Uh, we show frequency versus angle 
for the north uh, west Washington of Montana and then we also show uh, voltage versus angle at this bus. So go back to the main page. We finally want to investigate the behavior of individual bus and we simply double click on the uh, trend chart and this will show us that the system uh, behavior at each particular bus. And the final thing we want to show is the, the phase angle. So this is the phase angle between North East Washington and Central California, between Washington and Oregon, and we can see what the actual angular degrees is. This is 66 degrees, 28 degrees, and there's a small angle between Northeast Washington and Montana. We're also showing uh, on the grid synchronization that uh, the grid is synchronized, but it's it's um, operating well below the desired frequency of 60 hertz. If the system were operating properly, all 32 of the dots would be inside of the green box. The same is true with the balancing authority alarm limits. Uh, the yellow dots would be inside the green box. And it's also true with respect to uh, the frequency. And the final thing we'd like to see is we'd like to take a look at the actual angle differences. So we'll uh, turn on the angle differences layer. It shows over here. And you can see that there's uh, very uh, small angle differences ac across the grid. And this completes the event number one.